NSC and start your journey to wealth creation and financial freedom. For more information, visit www.nsc.co.ke. The NSC. Discover opportunity. This is KTN News. went there early to, to receive head of state and we start. But unfortunately enough, in that year, in July, it is when Tomboya was gunned down in Nairobi. So people were better with Kenyatta. I myself went to Jeremogi and told him, to, don't go to Kisumu. For the president going to Kisumu, don't go to Kisumu. There's going to be a problem. Because I got a hint that something's going to happen. I personally did it. And he said, oh, let me just go and see what's going to happen. Because I remember when the president started, he trip to go to the Western Kenya. He started in Nakuru, then ended up uh, in Kakamega. He had made some statements, and those statements, one of them was that the KPU at that time had sent people to China. And who was the guy sent to China? That was me. Yaramugi went there as the one who went to Soviet Union and negotiate. Manena Yosimtali. And he wanted to welcome Kenyatta to Nyanza. And Kenyatta came with, a, with another motive, one, to burn the party. Luo Nyanza was still tense and within a fraction of a second, all hell broke loose. When he was reaching at the gate, the gate of the hospital, some other people whom were planted by some other people whom we don't know, started to figure, dume, dume. President Kenyatta had been accompanied by top government officials at this historic event. Officials who witnessed in dismay as the ugly incidents unfolded. Jaramogi had to be whisked upstairs while presidential security detail threw a tight cordon around President Kenyatta until the situation calmed. We are still on the right. Kenyatta was sitting on the left. At that time, J.D. Otiende was the minister for health, I can remember. He stood, I cannot remember the, the I cannot remember now the, the superintendent of the hospital at that time, I cannot remember. But I know Utindi spoke and asked Kenyatta to open the hospital. When Kenyatta stood and he took a microphone, it is when he, had, he attacked Jaramogi. Jaramogi also was answering, answering him. When he shoot a question, Jaramogi answered that. And it is where he said, Jaramogi, if you are not my friend, if you are not my, my friend, I would have shagged you, Kamahonga. What followed was horror that still remains etched in many Kenyans' minds, particularly those from the Nyanza region. He took the Makasi 
alikata hiyo ribbon kaingia naingia na mimi natoka na mimi naingia kwa natoka kwa gari yake kutoka kwa gari yake the first victim was the only son of our friend Abdul Daya was a news vendor at that time he was shot in the compound from there on another askari a administration police who was a lieutenant in Kenyatta was shot dead reaching patel flat somebody was killed reaching at the market two people reaching at nyalenda so he killed people up from there up to awasi when they reached kiricho they went to kiricho tea hotel and they have a prom too come there admit it it is where curfew was announced in kisumu For several days, Kisumu and its environs still trying to come to terms with Tom Boyer's murder was plunged into mourning again. A dark cloud hanging over the community had refused to move away. To some, the community was under siege, condemned to mourning. People were killed. I can't, at, the, at that time, when we were running everywhere, I think 11 bodies were seen at the scene, but I think there were more. That was Kisumu massacre. Odungi, who was then KPU secretary, denies claims that the violence was premeditated, dismissing talks that Mze Kenyatta was pelted with eggs. No, 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 nothing, was, nothing like that. <clears throat> Where did those people get the eggs? That would mark President Kenyatta's last trip to Kisumu until his death in August 1979. Attempts by Jaramogi to mend fences with the president were scuttled. The kitchen cabinet of Kenyatta refusing to meet Jaramogi. Jaramogi met Kenyatta when he was dead. It is when Jaramogi went to, to mourn his late friend at State House. Unlike their fathers who had irreconcilable differences, at least the sons Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta can afford pleasantries. On every occasion, they bump into each other. None of us is going anywhere. Those who win and those who lose, we must all at the end of the day join hands and work together for our country. And towards that end, I'm very happy and excited to have my brother uh, Raila here with us on this day. Huh? Asante. Asante sana ndugu yangu. I am very delighted uh, that my brother has invited me, ambushed me in fact, as a friend and as a Kenyan. And I always refer to my brother here as my younger brother. <laughs> Mama Gina knows where we're coming from. We've been family friends for a long time. And I remember on the, that day when Mze passed on, Jeramogi went to State House and he was carrying the fly whisk. He then went and invoked a very, very passionate judge in Luo. That is very deep. That was a statement 
of the friendship that had been a long time. But things have changed a lot. These people can call one another and sit together. But Kenyatta, when Jaramogi wanted to meet him, he refused. But 